And here we go again, my math party people. We've got another challenge question for you here. And we're going to take a look because the first thing we always do, as always, is read the question. Then nothing else matters until you know what you're looking for. Then all the information is going to basically tell you what to do in terms of how to get to what you need. So here we go. Right over here, it says, for how long was the mill operating? Okay. So first and foremost, that's all I care about. For how long was the mill operating? And hey, you know, if you look at the answers, all of them say minutes. And so we can definitely tell here that, hey, for how long? Well, we're looking at a time is what we're looking for. So basically right here, number one, what we want is time. Blank minutes of operation. Okay, sounds good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take in all of the information. As confusing as it might be, we're gonna take it in and understand any relationships that we can form here. So here we go. Number two, right over here, what do we have? Again, what do we want, what do we have, and what's the connection? So we see here this says a mill shaves 2% of a 120 kilogram metallic object's mass per minute. After the work was complete, the object's mass was 112.8 kilograms. For how long was the mill operating? Sounds good. So let's go, let's go ahead and write all of that down. Let's see what we can understand from that. I see here again, we have 120 kilogram metallic object. So, okay. We have 120 kilograms at the start. And then we also see that it's shaving 2% of the mass per minute. So 2% per minute. So right over here, loses 2% per minute minute and then at the end of it it says after the work was complete the object's mass was 112.8 kilograms so again i'm just writing this down so at the end when it's complete the end is 112.8 kilograms okay and there it is sounds good so the question here is well we're looking for time but how does this information really relate to figuring out time well, this is an example of a distance rate and time problem. And you might be shocked, right? Because you don't see an actual distance here. But what you want to remember is that, remember, when it comes to distance rate time, distance is not just an actual length like feet or miles. It's actually an amount that you're achieving. Okay? It's anything that you can count that you're trying to achieve. That's what distance is. So when you take a look here, again, we're looking for time. We have a rate right there, 2% per minute. And then what do we also need? The distance. And the distance is basically the difference between start and end. Now, what makes this a challenging problem is that, one, to find the distance, you need the difference between the start and the end, because that's gonna tell you how far you went or how much was shaved off. And number two, notice that your rate is not in kilograms per minute. It is in percent per minute. So we have to turn that percent per minute into an actual amount. So those are the two things we need to do before we can even start solving the problem. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Again, this is a distance, rate, and time problem. This is a distance equals rate times time. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So we're looking for that time, right? Looking for that time, our rate, we need to turn that 2% per minute into a kilogram amount per minute. The way we're going to do that is this. We see that it loses 2% per minute and the beginning amount was 120 kilograms. So what's 2% of 120? That's how we'll convert that 2% per minute into kilograms per minute. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out right over here, I'm going to figure out what 2% of the 120 is. What is 2% of 120? Well, remember when you're multiplying a percent, we turn it into a decimal. So we have 0 0.02 times 120. When we go ahead and multiply it on the side, if you know your mental math, you're good, because you know you're just gonna multiply by two, 
then move the decimal place over two times to the left. So here we go. So boom, zero times two is zero, two times two is four, one times two is two. And we notice that we have one and two decimal places right there. So we have two decimal places right there. So this right here is 2.4 kilograms per minute. This right there, that is your rate. That is your rate. We now have the rate. And now we need to find the distance. The distance is gonna be again, the difference between the start and end times right over here. That's what it's gonna be. So the last thing I'm gonna do right over here is I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the difference from 120 and 112.8. You can put a point zero there. And if you've been taught mental math by me or anybody else, you know that it's much easier to go ahead and count up because you can go from 112.8 to 113 by just adding 0.2. Then from 113 to 120, that's seven. So 7.2 would be the difference and you can find that super quick. But again, if you still need to go ahead and just subtract the normal way, you can. So here what I'll do is I'll go ahead and borrow one to make that 10, then borrow again to make that a nine. 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus two is seven, zero, zero. So 7.2 kilograms is the distance. That is the distance. So there it is. We are all set in math party people. We can go ahead and find that time because we've converted again the percent per minute into kilograms per minute. The distance is kilograms and the times in minutes. The units match up, we can plug in and we can solve now. So here we're gonna have 7.2 kilograms lost at a rate of right over here, 2.4 kilograms per minute. And we're gonna multiply that by a certain amount of time to figure out, again, how long this mill is operating for. So the only thing you need to do now is divide both sides by 2.4 right over here, my math party people. Look at that, booyah. And now you just have to figure out what 7.2 divided by 2.4 is. And remember, to look at these decimals a little easier, you can just go ahead and move the decimals the same way at the same time. So you can go ahead and move that over there and there. So that becomes 72 divided by 24. And if you know your mental math, that's gonna be three. Or you can go ahead and actually do some guess and check work or divide by, you know, divide by two, then divide by two, then divide by uh, six if you'd like to. Whatever you need to do to go ahead and make this look easier for yourself. Because if you go ahead and divide the top and the bottom here by three, or excuse me, by two, you'll end up getting right over here, 36 over 12. And 36 over 12, that's three, nice and easy. But regardless, there it is, the answer is three, and that's gonna be three minutes because that is a time unit that we were looking for, and now we are good. Boom, A, and we're all set. So there it is, my math party people. We're good with this challenge question. If there's another one, go ahead and tackle it because you know I got your back. I'll see you in the next one. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.